Hey guys, I'm Ivory and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing my current go-to makeup look. I change my makeup look every couple of months because I get new products and when I really like them, I wanna use them and then I get more products and then, you know, out with the old, in with the new. But the look that I'm gonna do today, I've been doing it for about, I wanna say two-ish months. And it's really for any occasion, whenever we're gonna see family or friends, the base of it is pretty much the same. Sometimes I'll add on to it like false lashes or maybe I just apply less so that it looks more natural. So I would say overall the look is gonna be the same. It's just that sometimes I dress it up, sometimes I take it down. And the look that I'm gonna do today, it's very fast. I would say it's pretty minimalistic compared to all the steps that you're used to seeing me do. And it is pretty simple because on a day-to-day -day basis, that is just how I like to look. And I assure you all of the products that I use are great for oily and acne prone skin. That is always something that I am looking for with all of my products. Before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I post new videos every single week. And also be sure to follow me on my social media. Everything is underscore Ivory Cherry. So I'm gonna start off with my base today. I am going in with my Neutrogena Oil-Free Moisturizer. This has SPF 15 in it. Even on days where I don't wear makeup, I like to wear sunscreen because I walk my dogs every single day. I'm out in my yard. And I'm also gonna use this in lieu of primer since I really don't need primer, I don't think. And then next I'm gonna go in with the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer. And I'm going to spot conceal some of my acne what I like about this concealer is that it dries really fast So it's a little hard to blend which is perfect for this situation because when I add foundation on top It doesn't move around but I know that if I ever use this concealer on top like for my under eyes I have to do it by sections like I'll do this under eye I have to blend this under eye and then I have to blend so it's good for this situation But just be careful if you are considering this concealer You kind of have to move quickly if you don't have a concealer that dries as quickly as this one I would say put the concealer on first and then wait a couple minutes so that it dries down because the whole point of a spot conceal is right on top of the acne it's kind of like two layers and then everywhere else it's one-ish layers but if you don't let it dry you're just kind of mixing it in with your foundation so the extra coverage where you need it doesn't really work out for foundation i'm going in with the wet n wild photo focus i'm not gonna lie i usually use the covergirl vitalist healthy elixir but i'm a little bit tan they're both really good so i don't think it really matters but just know that usually i use this one but because I'm darker I'm gonna go in with my wet and wild one and I'm gonna blend it out with my Juno and Co microfiber sponge and you guys know I usually don't add foundation under my under eyes but today I am because I'm gonna skip concealer because honestly I don't think I have dark under eyes I mean do I I don't really know now I'm self-conscious. Do I have dark under eyes? I don't feel like they're that bad, but I feel like foundation covers them up just fine. And this is what it'll look like on a first coat. As you can see, there's still a little bit of skin peeking through. I'm gonna leave it because in person, when people see me, I don't want my makeup to look very cakey and it be super noticeable. So I'd rather stick to one layer and have a little bit peeking through than two layers and it just looks like too much. But if I did wanna go in with a second layer, what I would do is I would wait for the first layer to dry and then. And I would go over only the areas that need a little bit more coverage. So usually for me, it's the cheek area. I almost never apply a second layer on my forehead just because I have nothing to cover up. So the extra coverage isn't necessary and the extra cakiness is just not needed. All right, now that all the liquids are down, I have to set everything in place for everywhere that I would normally apply concealer. So my forehead and my under eyes and my chin, I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. This is in the color Light Medium. So this this way I still get that brightening effect from having a lighter concealer but I don't have the cakiness of the actual concealer because a lot of the times people would have foundation and then concealer and then loose setting powder since I have removed one layer first of all I reduce the amount of work and product needed for this and because this powder does lighten up my foundation it does bring forward parts of my face like concealer normally would you know when you contour and highlight but without actually having to use contour and highlight I feel like I just said that in a million different ways in the span of three minutes, but I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. And then for the rest of my face, I'm using my Cody Airspun. No matter if I'm going for a natural look or a glam look, I think I powder about the same amount no matter what. That's just something I don't think will ever really change. Okay, so while the powder is absorbing into my skin, I'm gonna move on to my brows. This look is gonna be pretty simple. So the brows are just gonna be mildly touched up. They're not gonna be twins by any means, but I'm gonna go in with my 
my Maybelline Define and Fill Duo. And I'm just gonna touch up the areas that need just a little more love. I know in this area, I just don't get hair. I don't know why. I've been using castor oil to try to get some hair growth going, but I like to use the sponge for this area so that it looks like a shadow. And I add an even lighter application here because there is hair here and this side doesn't have it. So I just kind of dab it in just a little bit. And then using the pencil side, I just fill in the arch just to give it a little more shape. The trick with keeping your brows simple is don't be nitpicky with them. Because if you're gonna be like, oh, this side doesn't perfectly match this side, this tail isn't as long as this side, you're gonna keep going back and forth and before you know it, you got two commas on your face. So just practice some self-control, okay? <laughs> All right, so the next product that I'm gonna use is probably my favorite part of this whole look. I'm going in with the Sigma Aura Powder. This is in the shade Core de Rosa. What I love about it is the color of this is kind of like that area where your bronzer meets your blush. It usually turns out to be a color like this. What I like to do is I'll just skip bronzer and I'll just apply just this blush. But I read on the reviews that people use this the contour too, and I can see it. There's a little bit of brown and pink in there that just makes it multi-use. So I I really love this powder and it really just depends today sometimes I want to go heavy with it sometimes I want to go light with it and when I go light with it it kind of just looks like my natural cheek color but way better this is pretty much the only blush I've been using when I'm not on camera and then with a fluffy brush I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use this as my eyeshadow as well and I'm gonna apply this all over the lid and what's great is you can be messy with this and it's not gonna look bad ever since I got the Huda Beauty new nude palette I've been loving pinks on my eyes not like hot pink, but like a natural blush type of pink. It also helps tie the look together because your eyes match your cheeks. I used to skip blush and I would only add bronzer and I would add the bronzer also into my crease. But I feel like as I get my own sense of style with makeup, I realize that things change because when I was younger, I definitely catered my makeup so that I would look not older, but I would say more mature. Because when you're a kid, you know, you always want to look like a grown up. But now, now that I'm in my mid 20s, I'm really trying to cling on to my youth here. And I also forgot I want to take this powder and I want to just add a little bit to my forehead. I just feel like it ties everything a little bit more. I'm not gonna go as intense as I did on my cheek area, but I just want a little, a little draping. All right, next I'm going to set my brows using the Benefit Gimme Brow Gel and I'm gonna comb them upwards and outwards. And then next, I'm going to set my face using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And after I set my face, I like to go in with my sponge again and really press that in so it can melt with all the powders. All right, for mascara, I'm going in with the Sigma Sinuosity Lash Mascara. I've been using this for at least five months now. So in about a month or so, I'll throw it away and you will see a new mascara into the rotation. Okay, so normally I would do this step before mascara, but I forgot. But I'm gonna take this blush again and I'm gonna go in with the same transition shade brush and I'm gonna run this on my lower lash line. I promise you I always do this, but sometimes when you're filming, you're so focused on teaching and making sure you say everything that you're supposed to that you just forget things. And because this color isn't really obnoxious, I feel like even if you go a little bit too low, it doesn't look bad. So what I like to do is first I'll just pinch the bristles and I run this on my lower lash line. And then without adding any more product, I kind of just blow it out. And then lastly for lips, Honestly, I feel like just my actual lip color is fine. A lot of the times I won't add a lip just because when I'm going out, usually it means that I'm gonna be eating. So whatever I wear is gonna come off anyways. But if I am usually doing this look and I do put on a lip, it's almost always the Wet n Wild Catsuit Liquid Lipstick. This is in the color Give Me Mocha because it looks like my lip color, but just a little bit better. It also kind of gives your lip a little bit more definition if you have like foundation lips or something. So this is the completed look. Like I said, it's very easy. If I'm not talking, I can get this done in I'd say about 10 minutes. Honestly, this blush is really what pulls the look together because without it, it just looks flat. But the fact that I can use it as my blush and you know, around the perimeters, my eyeshadow, it just really takes this look to the next level. I also feel like this look overall has a lot of natural elements to it. You could definitely swap out for a BB cream, but this is pretty much what I look like every single time I'm going out lately. My channel is really my space 
to be creative and have like my Sasha fierce moments and then when I'm out in the public that is when I'm more calm and tame like Beyonce actually Beyonce is pretty fierce as is I'm more like I'm more like Michael Sarah in literally any role that he's been in thank you for the pen yeah no problem oh. bye bye Bye, but my channel is really the only place where I will showcase colorful looks on a day-to-day -day basis At least not for a very long time. You will not see me out in the streets with big obnoxious Gaudy super colorful eyeshadow that just that just isn't me But if you like a more natural and simplistic makeup application, then I guess this video is perfect for you guys So that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed Don't forget to like this video and feel free to leave a comment down below about what other types of videos you'd like to see from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!